Hey guys, welcome back to Kindergarten Ready. We're going to do a mini lesson about 3D shapes and how you're going to use 3D shapes um, in your home lessons um, for homework that you might get from your child's teacher. Okay, the 3D shapes that we most um, typically focus on in kindergarten is going to be your cylinder. Um, you're going to talk about the faces on a cylinder. Um, it's got two round faces. Faces is just simply put, it's the flat part. Okay, so this one obviously has two and they are circular shaped. So when you're talking about the attributes of a 3D shape and you're talking about a cylinder, you're going to talk about it's got two circular faces. Okay, um, sometimes we talk about how they move. Obviously, a cylinder is going to roll. Pretend I'm a table. Whoa, they roll. <laughs> okay, so we can talk about a cylinder. Um, another one that we talk about is a cube. A cube has six faces. So remember the flat part of the faces. Now it's got quite a few um, corners and um, sides. Okay, so it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight corners, and then the sides again are where the they meet. Okay, no, corners are where they meet. Sides are the flat parts. Okay, so we got faces, sides, corners. 3D shapes are obviously more complex, so they're a little bit harder to describe. I like my kids whenever I'm asking about the attributes of a shape, I like them to talk to me about faces, okay? Whenever they're talking to me about faces, the sides and how many faces that are on a 3D shape, then I kind of know that they understand them, okay? So on a cube, again, it's got six flat faces and they're all squares. So those are the main attributes that you're going to be asking for when you're talking about a cube with your child, okay? Um, then we've got the sphere. Um, we like to compare all 3D shapes to things that they know. This obviously looks like a ball. Half the time they call it a ball, but it's a sphere, <laughs> okay? Um, it has no sides, no corners, and it obviously rolls. Now, um, a cube can slide, but it, it doesn't roll smooth like a sphere or the cylinder on its side, okay? We also have a cone, and it has one point or a corner, and it has um, one face, okay, and it's round, okay, so it's a circle. So we want the we want to use our 2D shape terminology with our 3D shapes. Does that make sense? So you want to use the word circle. It has one face and it is a circle, okay, and this one does roll. It rolls in a circle. They go around and around like this, but it does roll, okay? So whenever you're asking your child, tell me about the different attributes of... A cylinder and a cone. How are they the same? How are they different? Talk to me about the attributes. They're typically going to say a cone has one face that's a circle. A cylinder has two faces that are circles. They're the same because they both have faces that are circles. They're different because a cone has one, a cylinder has two. They're also the same because they both can roll. Okay, you're looking for them to make connections between what is the same about two shapes and what is different. Okay, um, and some of your homework assignments is going to be to recreate 3D shapes at home. Play-Doh is off, obviously a great choice. This is a brand new thing of Play-Doh, so it has all kinds of stuff in there. Um, get it out. <laughs> it's not. Okay, so I've got my Play-Doh here, and we want to recreate some 3D shapes. Obviously, the easiest one is going to be a sphere. So I roll it between my hands. And obviously, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want most of the lumps and bumps to be out, okay? So, you do want it to look kind of like a ball that would roll. Um, the next one that I like to make is a cylinder, and I roll it between my hands, make kind of like a log, and then I'm going to flatten out the sides. It's really hard to get a cylinder, but I also use the flat table to make sure that I can flatten it and then roll. So you're gonna flatten each side and then roll, okay? All right. Um, the next one that I like to make is gonna be a cone because you've already got the base of it. Remember when we were talking about comparing attributes of a cone versus a cylinder, they both have a circular bottom. So then I'm just gonna practice pinching and making a point, okay? They're going to look a little bit of a hot mess, and that is perfectly okay. We just want to get the general idea of how to make it, okay? So that is my Play-Doh cone. Okay, now um, 
Your cubes are the hardest to make out of Play-Doh, but you can do it. Um, I just, this is how I do it. I just rotate it between my hands like I make a sphere or a cylinder, and I just rotate it between my hands and practice flattening it. Obviously, I've had some more practice <laughs> with this than a lot of you parents, but they're not that bad. Kids will sometimes have trouble making it out of this. They can also use blocks. They can use magnetiles, make really, really good um, cubes, um, and they can build from that. Um, after they've got the hang of making their 3D shapes out of Play-Doh, you can do homemade Play-Doh, whatever you would like to use, but after they get the hang of that, then they can start making things out of them. So if I did, let's take a little bit of this off, and I'm going to make kind of like what I did with the 2D shapes, except I'm going to make a 3D house. So I've got my cube, and then I'm going to make... This is actually, it's going to be like a little, um, have you guys seen those fairy gardens that they have in a lot of people's gardens now? I think they're really cute, but a lot of them have circular like cone shape roofs on their houses. So that's the kind of roof I'm going to have on my house. Okay. So I want you guys to make sure that you're using the word attribute when you talk about shapes with your child. Um, again, the 3D shapes we're using, there's a song that we do. Um, I'll try to tag you guys in the link, but um, it's, these are the 3D shapes that I know, a sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. So if your child forgets the name of it, if you'll sing, these are the 3D shapes that I know, after a few times of them hearing it, I know my kids, if I sing that first intro part, I don't have to finish it because they know, and then they can name every single one of these. They don't need my help. But um, they do need to be able to name all four of these shapes. Some of your classrooms might also be adding a pyramid. A pyramid, um, it's a lot like a cone, except it has a square base. So they're going to have the square base, and then it's going to come up and meet. Okay? So, um, like I said, a pyramid, some of your classrooms are going to have it. Not all of them. These are the four basic ones that we use. So if you have any questions, just um, message us at Kindergarten Ready.